Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder I'm Zoe, and today I get to do something amazing. My dad is taking me to see the construction workers on our street. Maybe I can sit in their digger, and maybe even drive it. Coming through. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing I have ever done. I have to wear this hat and this vest to protect me. You can see that this vest is super bright. When I wear this vest, people will see me and not bump into me. And this hat will protect me if anything falls from up high. I can't wait! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? All dressed for a big day, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I have to wear this hat and vest so it will protect me when I go see the construction up close. A hard hat can protect you. It's true. But I know someone special who protects you, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hey friends, I'm Justin the Mailman, and I am so glad to see you because, whoa, do I have a great story for you today. Are you ready for it? Well, let me put the story mail in the mailbox and... There we go. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Daniel. Daniel loved God and prayed to him every day. Daniel worked for King Darius, and King Darius liked Daniel, and they were friends. But this made some other guys very jealous and grumpy. Yep, see? They are mean and grumpy. They wanted to get Daniel in trouble so the king wouldn't like him anymore. So they made a tricky plan. They tricked the king into making a law that no one could pray to anyone but him. The law said that everyone had to pray to the king. If they prayed to anyone else, they would be thrown into a den of hungry lions. Let me hear your best lion roar. Ready? One, two, three, roar! Wow! You were some scary lions. What was Daniel going to do? If he prayed to God like he did every day, he could be thrown to the lions. What do you think Daniel did? Do you think he stopped praying to God? No, Daniel did not stop praying to God. Daniel knew God was more powerful than anything and that God wanted him to pray. So. He kept praying to God every day. The mean, grumpy guys saw Daniel and went to tell the king that Daniel was praying to God and not the king. The new law said Daniel had to be thrown to the lions. The king had been tricked. He was not happy. He didn't want to throw his friend Daniel in with the lions, but that's what the law said. The king said to Daniel, I'm so sorry, Daniel. I hope your God protects you. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The next morning, the king ran to the den and called, Daniel, did your God protect you from the lions? Yes! Woohoo! Daniel is okay. Wow! God is so powerful. He protected Daniel from the lions. 
Now you tell me, was God more powerful than the king? Yes. Was God more powerful than the hungry lions? Yes. God is so powerful. God protected Daniel and he has the power to protect us too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God's power protected Daniel from the lions, and God's power can protect us too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Daniel had to spend the night with those scary lions. But God's power protected him. God's power is so awesome. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. You get it? Got it. Good. I'm going to go see the construction site. And I know God's power is going to go with me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.